Who am I to, to be creative? Who am I for people to listen to? When it comes to content creation, those are the thoughts and that is the narrative that we have going in our head. Who am I to do this? I'm Haitian, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I am a college dropout. I went to FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology. I was in a four year relationship that was super abusive. That's actually how I ended up coming to Christ. If you've been living long enough, you know that just because you're saved, just because you have a relationship with God, does it stop you from struggling with things like confidence and insecurity? And so for years, I struggled with believing that my voice mattered or that I had a gift that was valuable to other people. A lot of times we don't see the things that God placed in our hearts or the, the, the gifts and the tools that God has given us. We don't see that as valuable. And when you don't see what's in your hand as valuable, you're not going to use it because you yourself don't think that it means much. Um, some of you who are watching, you don't realize that you have the gift of communication where somebody else could say the same exact thing that you say, but it'll hit someone in a completely different way because of your way of communicating. Some of you, you're gifted with your hands and could come up with a recipe or you are gifted with your hands when it comes to hair. And when people sit in your chair, it's not just an experience of getting their hair done and getting a nice hairstyle. Something is different about when you do it. Sometimes we minimize that and we think that that's normal. We think that, you know, we kind of take it for granted and we minimize the fact that everything that God has given us, everything that he has placed in our hearts and in our hands is valuable. I struggled for years because I felt like I saw myself and I had a self-perception that was self-sabotaging. I'm just a college dropout who doesn't really have anything to offer. I'm just like that girl that grew up in the hood that, you know, was just trying to find her way. So who am I to sit on YouTube and teach people? Who am I to, you know, talk about my faith on Instagram? Who am I to, to be creative? Who am I for people to listen to? When it comes to content creation, those are the thoughts and that is the narrative that we have going in our head. Who am I to do this? So that small voice in your head, which, which I'm gonna talk about later, which sometimes is not always just your voice, it's the devil. Sometimes we don't even realize that the, the voices that we hear in our head that are telling us, this is stupid, you don't have anything to offer, your creativity sucks, you're just one in a billion, this doesn't really matter, this is not that big of a deal. A lot of times we don't realize that that voice is not our own and those thoughts are not our own and those are thoughts from the devil. And it's so crazy to me when I think about the story of Adam and Eve back in Genesis, God gave Eve instructions that you can eat from any tree of the garden except this one. What the enemy did was he convinced Eve that what she had, the abundance that God already gave her, was not enough. So when it comes to content creation, I believe part of the insecurity and the lack of confidence is because we do not believe that what we have is enough. God literally gave her and gave them dominion and freedom and you can eat from any tree but just this one. All of the abundance that she had or that she had access to, to eat from, that was not enough. A lot of times we feel like what we have is not enough. That's when we get into comparing ourselves. That's when we get into comparing ourselves to other creators. Now I gotta look a certain type of way. Now I gotta sound a certain type of way. And now you feel like you have to fit into this box because the enemy is trying to convince you that what you have is not enough. But if God gave it to you and if God is calling you, then God is not going to call you to do something and not equip you with the tools that you need to do it. That's backwards. This is what I believe is the tactic of the devil. That if I can keep her insecure, I can keep her quiet. If I can keep her insecure and blind to the goal that is in her hand that was given to her by God to create impact for God's kingdom through creation, then I could keep her quiet. Insecurity will have you fumbling all kinds of opportunities. Insecurity will keep you from walking through certain doors that God has already laid out to you. It will have you self-sabotaging because you do not believe that you are worth 
walking through that door. You don't believe that you're worth certain opportunities. Nobody is stopping you from creating content. Nobody is stopping you from propping up a camera and recording. Nobody is stopping you from starting a business. The door is wide open open a lot of times you talk about oh, oh i'm just waiting on god you know i'm just waiting for you know more direction and another you know confirmation and it's like how much more confirmation do you need and what direction are you looking for just start clarity is going to come as you walk the bible says to walk by faith which means you have to start walking it doesn't say stand by faith think by faith it doesn't say just sit there by faith. It says walk by faith. Walk is an action. Clarity that you claim that you need and the, you know, the more direction that you need, that's going to come as you just go. And as you go, God is going to start making things clear. God is going to start bringing opportunities. God is going to start bringing people. And then you start getting more and more clarity. But you have to be willing to get in the boat. And you have to be willing to put your foot out and trust that God is going to sustain you. God could literally drop a million dollar idea in your lap and you will look at it and say, no, you know, like that, that's not for me. And it's in your lap because you lack the confidence and you're being led by your insecurity. You're not doing anything with it because you don't believe that it's valuable. The reason why I wanted to do this series is because we can talk about SEO strategy, thumbnails, and lighting, and all of these things. All of that stuff is just surface level, okay? All you gotta do is clean it. I don't even have my phone on a tripod right now. Even though I do have a tripod, I literally have my phone propped up on a purse right now while I'm recording this video <laughs> by my windowsill because the, the lighting is pretty decent. We have to deal with the internal stuff that's going on because the obedience of the consistency and posting consistently and showing up boldly, that is going to be the aftermath. But if you never deal with the insecurity and the lack of confidence that you have, you're going to be watching all of the videos on SEO strategy, thumbnails, uh, titles, algorithm stuff, and you're never going to do anything with it. You have to realize that this is so much bigger, that there are people that are waiting for you to show up and they don't even know that they're waiting for you to show up, but they're going to be grateful that you cross their timeline. They're going to be grateful that a you exists. There are people who are waiting for God's people to show up in certain areas. There are people that are going to want to do business with somebody who is a believer that has integrity and is there to serve. If you don't believe that, you're never gonna show up because in your mind, you think nobody cares. Nobody is going to see the value in what I have to offer. Reality is you don't see the value in what you have to offer. How you look, how you talk, your experiences, your testimony, you know, problems that you've had within your life, everything about how God created you and the pathway that God has had you on, all of that is so special and valuable. And that is what's going to make you different. And again, it goes back to the whole spiritual warfare thing that the enemy will literally convince you that all of that stuff is useless. And now you have to fit into some random box that you see on TikTok or Instagram or on YouTube that you now have to confine yourself to in order to prosper in your gift. And that is so far from the truth. I, I have some homework for you. And when you're done, feel free to write it down in the comments. But I want you to write down three valuable talents or gifts that you have that you can serve other people with. Content is just a conduit. Okay, content is just a conduit to delivering that gift to people. What I'm doing here, YouTube is just a conduit to get, getting you this information and serving through encouragement and teaching and talking about the word. That's just an avenue. Your avenue may not be YouTube. Your avenue may be opening up a business. It may be writing a book. It may be something completely different. Content is just the conduit. So I want you to just start there with writing down three valuable gifts and talents that you have that you can use to serve other people. I want you to pray over those gifts. I want you to pray over those talents. And I want you to affirm that God gave it to you and that it is valuable. What you have is gold because God gave it to you. I am so excited about this series. Stay tuned for part three. Honestly, 
I'm kind of in a flow right now so I really may extend this because I just keep on getting more and more like parts to it. I'm also working on an ebook that I'm super excited about. So this is going to be a resource that you can download. Um, it's going to have like a content planner in it affirmations for Christian content creators that you can affirm over and over and again because remember this is a heart and a mind thing these are mental and emotional strongholds that are keeping you stuck so we got to pull those down and then get to planning and get to work so stay tuned I will let y'all know when that is going to be available comment down below I cannot wait to see you in my next video happy content creating <laughs>